Consider the following formula. Y is equivalent to four times the value of X divided by eight. Which of the following choices represents the same relationship as the aforementioned information? To solve this question, let's start by putting this sentence into a mathematical equation. So we have Y is equivalent, or Y is equal to four times the value of X divided by eight. And from here, we can simplify four divided by eight. Uh, it doesn't give us a whole number, so we're gonna end up with a fraction. So let's take out the greatest common factor from both the numerator and denominator, and that would be four. Four divided by four will give us one, over eight divided by four will give us two. So our equation is y is equal to one half x, and this already tells me one thing. y equals mx plus b is our normal linear function uh, equation, and we are missing a b. We do not have a y-intercept, which means our graph is going to have to go through the origin, or the point zero comma zero. And that's going to allow us to eliminate one of our graph answers, and that is answer choice b, because it has a y-intercept right here. A is still on the board because it goes through the origin, zero comma zero. But let's start by looking at our tables. I'm gonna grab a new color. And let's start by plugging in some of our X values here to see if this uh, answer choice C is giving true outputs. So we'll have Y is equal to one half X, and then we'll plug in all these X values. We'll have one half times negative four, we'll have one half times negative eight, one half times negative 12, and so on and so on. These values should be half of negative four would be negative two, half of negative eight would be negative four, and then half of negative 12 would be negative six. Already, all three of these values are incorrect because they are not negative. So that means answer choice C is incorrect. For answer choice D, we'll have Y is equal to one half X, and let's plug in these values. So we'll have one half times zero, one half, times two, one half, times four, and so on. If we were to solve all of these, half of zero is still zero, half of two is one, and half of four is two. So far so good with our first two values, those match, but the third one does not match. Half of four is not equal to three, it should be equal to two, and that makes answer choice D incorrect. And so by process of elimination, we know that answer choice A is the correct answer. But for the sake of the video, I'll show you exactly why answer choice A is correct. If we look at answer choice A and we pick a couple of points, let's take this point here at over two, up one, two comma one. And then we'll take another point here at over one, up one half. If we were to plug in those values, so we would have a small table of our x values are one and two, and then our outputs are one half and one. So if we were to plug that into our equation, y is equal to one half x, we would have one half times one, and one half times two. For both of those, one half of one is equal to one half, and one half of two is equal to one. Both of those match. If we were to take more points, the multiplication would be the same, but our results would be negative. We would have a negative one half and a negative one, a negative one half and a negative two, and we would get our correct result, um, our correct output result, which makes answer choice A the correct answer.